Hello everyone and welcome to another Versus video. I'm Brad Nelson. I'm joined today by Todd Anderson. Yay. And today we're going to be playing some modern. Um, well, I don't know. Is this, is this, is this a deck? What do you does mean it, is this is a it, deck? Is this, it does things. It does do things. Kind of like Dredge though. Like, I don't yeah. think there's going to be much interacting. Exactly. Anyway, Todd's <laughs> going to be trying out the Ascendancy combo. Yeah, Jeskai Ascendancy is, uh, you know, one of the five Ascendancies out of Konzoteric gear. This one's been getting a lot of hype because it does some really cool stuff mm -hmm. with mana-producing creatures. Uh, the spell itself untaps your creatures whenever you play a non-creature spell, uh, which lets you kind of go infinite with cantrips and one mana guy, which is kind of cool. And it also pumps your guys every time you cast one, so your guys get really big and then you get to do cool stuff with them. Well, we'll take a look at that once we get to the deck. Uh, but I'm going to be playing Zoo. Born old Zoo. It's not born old it's Zoo. It's not old, it's not born, because it's getting big now. Well, you also have better fetch lands, which I think was kind of an interesting and important for the deck. I probably use those. Did you not? No. <laughs> 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 oh, Brad. All right, we might oh, need you. to go get no, some. No, actually, with five color Zoo, it's not nearly as important, because, like, you just need your, you actually just need the right number of fetches to fetch up the right, like, yes. dual lands or whatever, so. I didn't mess with the mana base. Okay. I shut up. But I did put a new sweet <laughs> card in the deck. Yeah, what's that? Become immense. Get uh, big. Yeah, let's get fat. Yeah, we got a bunch <laughs> of uh, fetch lands, and you can just pump. But anyway, let's take a look at Ascendancy combo. All right, so uh, to start off here, uh, Just Guy Ascendancy, heart and soul of the deck. But why are we only playing three, you might ask? Well, I don't know. that's because we have one in the sideboard so that we can tutor for it with this glittering wish that we don't own. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know, about, I don't know if you guys know this, but I own a lot of magic cards, and I would have bought four of these for this video, except that it's sold out on StarCityGames.com. And another really interesting card for the deck that we'll also get to in a minute, but uh, we're also sold out of Cerulean Wisps, and I would have bought those as well, but we are sold out on StarCityGames.com. So, I was not able to purchase these, but I still wanted to play the deck because it seems sweet. Uh, but yeah, these two cards are integral to the deck because Glittering Wish gives you this really cool sideboard option uh, of like you know being able to tutor for anything mm -hmm. for any situation, while also just being four additional copies of Jeskai Ascendancy. Uh, the deck doesn't kill on like turn two or whatever. Like you sometimes can, you can. You can it's just very very difficult. I'd much rather set up to kill on like turn three, four, or five. You know, just well, the messed up more thing about this deck. No, the messed up with this deck is the reason that I think it's busted is you can try to go off on turn two, and if you don't. You filled up your graveyard for a turn three treasure cruise <laughs> and go <laughs> off again. That's so true. it's not like a ritual deck where if you can't go off, you're just dead. <laughs> yeah. Like this deck, it's just you're you're playing cantrips and drawing cards and looting, and you're like, up, oh, I ran out of things. I guess I'll just wait till next turn and treasure cruise and start <laughs> all over again. Yeah. So uh, the mana guys are actually the most important cards in the deck, I think, simply because without these, you can't combo, and they also help you just like. You know, cast your Jeskai Ascendancy a turn earlier. Uh, Sylvan Character, I think, is the most important one because with so much removal in the format, uh, having a guy with Hexproof come down is pretty awesome. And the only card in the format that really kills us consistently is Liliana of the Veil, and you have a bunch of other things to protect it. Um, <clears throat> you also have a Singleton Dryad Arbor over here in the lands, which you can mini combo with. It doesn't tap for blue, so you can't use it to. Uh, continually cast, you know, your, your cantripping effects, but you can float a green mana each time, and then later on you can draw a mana morphos and turn that green mana into mana you can use, but you can also fetch this against the Liliana, against someone trying to Liliana and make you sack your mm -hmm. carry to. Uh, but yeah, long story short, Jeskai Ascendancy, you have uh, mana morphos, Serum Vision, Cerulean Wisp, which is great because it kind of like adds a mana while also uh, drawing a card because it can untap any of your mana guys. Uh, Gitaxan Probe was also free. It kind of acts like a ritual because you could pay two life and untap your mana guys. Uh, sleight of Hand, and then last but not least, we have Treasure Cruise. Uh, the mana base is a little awkward. We need all of our lands to tap for green while also being able to find the different colors. And then we have four mana confluence as just our backup to make sure we hit all our colors on time. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's the main deck for uh, Just Guy Ascendancy. We're going to take a look at the sideboard, which is actually pretty interesting. All right, guys. So in the sideboard here, we have a bunch of tutor targets for Glittering Wish, yep. and we're going to go over them one by one and tell you in what situations you actually want to get them. Uh, sometimes you already have the Just Guy Ascendancy and you need a mana producing creature. We have a multicolor one in Cure's Follower, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we have Reborn Hope. Uh, this is a way to get a multicolor card out of your graveyard back to your hand. That's for when you've already Glittering Wish for Just Guy Ascendancy, and then they've either countered or killed it. Then another Glittering Wish can be still become another copy mm -hmm. of it by using this to get this. 
Uh, we have one Maelstrom Pulse whenever our opponent sets up some annoying thing we need to kill. Uh, like this an is, Ascendancy combo. Yeah, like their Ascendancy combo, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, actually, uh, all the black cards in the deck are a little hard to cast because uh, basically we need a mana producing creature or a mana confluence to cast it. We don't have a black land in our deck yeah. because it's just out of the sideboard. Uh, we have uh, one copy of Flesh Blood, and this is actually one of the real combos that we have with Glittering Wish because once we have the Just Guy Ascendancy going, uh, sometimes we can't actually attack and kill our opponent that turn. But if we're able to generate enough extra mana off of our mana producing creatures uh, and then uh, Glittering Wish for something, we can go get Blood. And Blood with Sylvan Keratid means they're not going to be able to actually stop mm -hmm. it. You get to target your, your Keratid and target them and deal them 20 points of And damage. if you generate an extra mana, you might actually have to fuse it so you don't get <laughs> spell snared. Oh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we have one Simic Charm, which we can preemptively use to give our guys Hexproof. Uh, we can also preemptively do it to give our Jeskai Ascendancy Hexproof, which is awesome. Uh, you know, getting the Ascendancy is pretty important. Uh, Guttle Response, which we can get against Cryptic Command-based decks. Uh, one Scar Scale Ritual, which we can, you know, either sacrifice one of our mana guys or just put a counter on our character to draw two cards. Uh, Rakdos Charm, if our opponent has an annoying artifact card or their graveyard-based deck. Uh, a Medley Mage against another combo-based deck. Or a Mana Morphos when we're trying to just, like, continually chain off rituals and draw a bunch of cards. Mm -hmm. And then against uh, all the really combo -y decks or the counter spell decks, we bring in a bunch of Swan Songs and just counter all their stuff. Makes a lot of sense to me. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that is Just Guy Ascendancy. Brad, do you want to take it from here and then move on to the next, go to the next game? Go to the games? What? What? I don't, are, know. What? I don't know what to do. You just say, I'll start it back to you. We're done.